Hi, um, my name is Nancy Breakstone. I'm a photographer. Um, these are my photographs. Um, and actually, when people look at them, they don't really see them as photographs at first. Um, they're not quite sure what the medium is. I can make it very clear to them through showing them a video that I've shot of how these images are formed. They're patterns in the sand formed by the receding tide of the Pacific Ocean on volcanic beaches in Costa Rica. Um, you won't find this type of sand here. You'll only find it where there have been volcanic eruptions. <laughs> and this one particular beach where I visit twice a year um, has tons of lava rock and a lot of the sand. Um, and if you have one second, I'll show you a video of how they're formed so you get an idea. Small waves come in and <coughs> just start to form. And a leaf. It's easier after people see the video to understand how they're formed. Um, I've been going to Costa Rica for the last six years. I go twice a year. I found my first image just walking the beach. I spend probably most of my life on the water, on the beach. And in walking, I just started seeing these little patterns, sort of like fractals. And the more time I spent looking at them, the more I started seeing in them. And I found over the last couple of years that there are certain places where I can stand where I'm going to get certain types of images. Um, generally, I find them after the wave is hit and they've, the, the water settled in a little bit, but there's still some water in them that gives you the color. The reflection, the color comes from the reflection of the sun off the water. And depending on how much water is flowing through them, um, it gives more color and also depends on where I'm standing. The sun is best to shoot these between 10 and 2. Um, early in the morning, I just don't get the reflection. Later in the day, it's, it's too far gone. Um, and again, it's six years of doing this, and I just decided, with the encouragement of friends, um, to start showing them two years ago. And I'm obsessed with them. Going back next month, um, to shoot some more. Thank That's you. it. Thank you. Oh, yes. so what camera do you use? Um, it varies on the day. It's about 100 degrees there, and you're so close to the equator that the sun's really, really hot. So I take three cameras, my Canon, an old Sony, and my iPhone. Um, I'm shooting between like 30 inches to 12 inches above the, the image and constantly walking around and standing in water and waiting for them to appear, or I'll, I'll spot one where the water's just drained out and run over and shoot that. Um, it's after two hours of standing around with cam heavy cameras, it's, it gets a little bit much. But um, I found recently that my iPhone works pretty much as well, just as well. And it's lighter, and I can keep a, um, a cold pack in my backpack, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, ruining a camera. And they, sometimes the cameras overheat too with that heat. What kind of iPhone are you using? Um, the new 10. Nancy, can you talk a little bit about the color? Um, I might be wrong, but it seems that the color has emerged in more recent works. Yes, it's because I finally figured out how to use the sun and the water. Um, and also, I found a brand new spot, which I have to climb over a lot of lava rocks to get to. But no one is there. Usually, on the beach, if I'm out earlier in the morning, you've got joggers, you've got surfers, horses, because the horses just roam wild, dogs. And I'll spot something, somebody will step on it. Um, so I've now been relegated to an area where no one goes. The dogs won't go there, the horses don't go there. And the surfers definitely don't go there. Um, and I like the color. I think it brings them to life. How did you find this area? Um, my husband and I rented a house um, in the Guanacaste area. It's the northern Pacific side six years ago. 
and I just started walking the beach. And I used to surf cast off the beach, too. Um, and I just started noticing them. And I noticed that the sand is very dark, and it's very um, fine, and, but very dense. So when the water go leaves, the little waves come in, and it, it just pulls these images out of it. And if I'm standing closer to the lava rocks that are sticking up, I'll get a totally different image versus standing away from them. So the photos are of a uh, still there. Yes. It's not no movement that you're capturing. No, no, no. I, I just did the video to show people how they're formed, but I, it's, they're all still. I mean, there's still, you know, still, still water running through them. Um, that gives you the different effect of, of movement and, and the depth in some of them. With the, with the water, and especially this one. I mean, I, I call this the herd. I just saw elephants, I saw bears, I just, it's like a big herd of everything. I, I shoot things that I see something in, you know, stand and stare, and if the water's, you know, coming in and out, I've got usually about two to three seconds to shoot before the next wave comes in. And it changes the pattern a little bit. So it's, it takes a lot of patience um, to stand there for two to three hours in the sun um, on a beautiful beach. <laughs> but um, the Pacific is about 75 to 80 degrees, so it's fun to jump in there once in a while to shoot it cool off. <laughs> do, you, do you do any manipulating of the image after? Yeah. I haven't done anything to these. Um, I've been playing around with it, but I'm really not liking it. <clears throat> the only thing I do with these is I um, bring the color up a little bit amp it up a little bit. Very simple process. On my iPad, go to photo, color, and that's it. <laughs> it's very simple. I don't do the complicated stuff, because I just don't. How did you select these four? You must take a lot of images. How did you I, select these? I have favorites. I mean, they, they all, I see something in them. This one I just saw, so I call it watching me, because it's, it's like somebody's watching me. I, <laughs> the eyes, and you can see, some, everybody sees something different, that's the fun part about abstract. Um, this one I just saw, it looked like some place that was really far away and like really magical. So I called it a distant place. And this to me was very warm. Thank you, Nancy. Welcome.